So I really liked uh, your whole speech. I thought it was really well done. In particular, I really like how you use stories to illustrate key points that you've learned, right? And your style of speech works really well with the storytelling. So I liked how you maintained strong eye contact with the audience while you were speaking to us. You had meaningful pauses in between points that you wanted to em emphasize. And the meaningful pauses stood out for two reasons. One, it keeps your audience in suspense and engaged. And two, it allows the audience to process everything you've said to that point. That makes sense. And then I also liked how you used humor effortlessly. I particularly liked uh, the humor you used after your interaction with uh, your interaction with Fred after the white elephant party. Because that was a curveball I wasn't expecting. And so <laughs> that plot twist made it memorable, I think, to the, to the audience. With with each of the stories that you tell, you kind of give us a side commentary in a way. So like, for instance, with the white elephant, so you mentioned the party, but then you were like, oh, I didn't know what it was, right? And then you described what you thought it was. And in honesty, I've been there. When I was told, having a white elephant party, I'm like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, I guess. <laughs> that was very relatable is the point I wanted to highlight. So very well done there. You had some ums and ahs at the start of your speech, but that faded away once you got into your groove. So that was very well done. I mean, it was, towards the end, I didn't hear any ums and ahs. Really well done there. A few things I wanted to, so a few things I have for you to work on. So because it is a three-part series, it would have been nice to hear a recap of the highlights of your previous speech in the Toastmaster introduction, because I kind of, I actually listened to your previous speech prior to this, and so it helped. It helped. Uh, and then the second thing is, and the second is just a suggestion. You could incorporate gestures when you describe some of your jobs. So for instance, like you spoke about working at was it Shakey's Pizza? I don't know like what, how they make the dough and all that, but you could have something of that nature. Um, and then and then with the outro, I would again slow that down again to let the audience know that you're concluding your speech. Other than that, I thought it was great. So really well done. Thank you.